Hi, my name is Aaron Dolberg, and I'm a quality engineering lead on the Adobe Flash Catalyst team. Today I'm going to give you a tour and cover some of the basic concepts that you should understand when using this new application. So when you first launch Catalyst, you'll see our welcome screen. From here, you can open existing projects, create a new project from an existing design comp, or start a new project from scratch. Let's just start a new project from scratch and take a look around. Now in the center of the application, you'll see the artboard. Now this is your main design area for working with objects and artwork. You're going to hear this reference a lot in our tutorials. Now over here, to the right, we have our tools palette. Here we provided basic selection tools, a zoom tool, drawing tools for creating basic shapes, a text tool, and a rotation tool. The layers panel allows you to organize your objects into layers as well as manage their visibility. And if you're importing artwork from Illustrator or Photoshop, your existing layer structures will be preserved. The wireframe components panel provides you with a set of Flex 4 components that use the default wireframe skin. They can be used for rapidly prototyping applications, and you can even modify some of them to give them your own look and feel. Now the library panel is where you'll go for all of your content that can be reused. Some examples of this are components with custom skins, bitmap images that you may have imported, or imported Swifts. The Design Time Data Panel is where you'll go to work with data for a selected list. The Properties Panel down below is where you'll go to set properties for various selected objects. And over here at the bottom of our application, you'll see the Timeline Panel. Now in the Timeline, you'll set up effects to be displayed when a user navigates from state to state, or alternatively, you can set up effects that will be applied to an object, usually triggered from a component event, like a button click. And these are referred to as action sequences. Now one concept that's important to understand when using Catalyst is the concept of pages and states. Up here you'll see the pages and states panel where you can add new states to your application or to a subcomponent of your application. Pages are generally used to describe the areas of your application that a user would navigate to when interacting with it. Whereas a component state describes the look and feel of a component at a given state and time, usually based on a mouse event or other user interaction. So let me give you an example of how you'd actually go and set up some custom component states. So in this example, I have some simple artwork that I've imported from Illustrator. I'm going to select my artwork, and using this dark panel up here called the HUD, or Heads Up Display, I'm going to convert my artwork to a button. Now that I've converted it, I can double click to edit in place. And you'll see that my component has four states that have automatically been created for me. We're going to work with three of them right now. I'm going to select my up state. And using the layers panel, I'm going to turn off visibility for all artwork that I don't want displayed when the button is up. I'm going to repeat this process and toggle visibility for desired artwork for my over and down states. And that's it. It's that simple. So let's compile and take a look at what we've created. So here you'll see the artwork that I indicated that I wanted displayed for my buttons up state. When I hover over, you'll see that there's additional artwork displayed for the over state. And when I click using the mouse, the artwork that I intended to be displayed for the down state is shown. Now that you understand component states, let's take a look at a slightly more complex, complex example. So in this example, I have a real estate application that's intended to showcase a luxury home for sale. You'll see that the application is set up so that the pages display different areas of the application that a user might navigate to when using this app. We're going to work with the gallery page. And on the gallery page, you'll see that I have a custom component that contains larger images of the home's interior, as well as a series of thumbnail buttons that I want to use to control what image is displayed over here in my gallery component. So I'm just going to double click to enter edit in place and I'm just going to show you the structure of my custom component and you'll see that it has four states each of which is set up to display a single image. 
Now let's go back up to the level of my main application and let's set, set up some basic interactivity. I'm going to select my first thumbnail button and using the HUD, I'm going to set up a custom interaction that basically says when I click on this button, play transition to state, and for state, I'm going to choose the appropriate state within my custom component. I'm going to repeat this process for each of my thumbnail buttons. And that's it. Let's test it out and see what we've created. So here you'll see that I'm able to click on each of my buttons and the corresponding image will be displayed within my custom component. So now that you understand some of the basic concepts in Catalyst, we invite you to visit Adobe Labs and download the Adobe Flash Catalyst beta. Thanks for watching.